keep on the gardening, keep, keep on going all winter long. And fall, you know, uh, these are the plants that are going to bloom in the fall and the winter. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all different kinds. You know, there the sasanguas are you're going to be your, you know, early bloomers in fall. And here they come in different sizes too. Some of the things you need to remember is the, the sizes and the types. So if you're planting them in front of your window or you're planting them up as a hedge, you know, knowing the types that you need to have. Here's one that. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful one. This is Mimi no Yoko. Okay, this is, is it's a low growing, but you notice how the, the, uh, the habit of the plant is a spreader. Now this you can uh, plant in front of a window and a camellia is probably the most beautiful hedge when it matures. They're slow growing. Mm -hmm. If you don't like a lot of pruning, camellia sasanqua. This is the, the, the one that's gonna be sun tolerant okay. and planted in front of a, uh, you know, small window or something like that. Here's one that you wanna plant. This is called Yuletide, mm -hmm. really dark, dark green foliage beautiful awesome. red flowers at the yellow uh, center you know it's a one that's going to be blooming around November and December but very upright you can see there's very much distinctive difference between Absolutely. the two types of growth habit mm -hmm. and then also the flowers that's a single single kind of a single flower and this mm -hmm. is a multiple petal flower here's another one of, of a low grower because you know all our windows are seem to be going down on modern construction Ew. but uh, Here's a here's a shishi gashura. These are you know Asian plants, mm -hmm. and you can see it opens up at the bottom and uh, spreads out in a very low growing plant. Very easy to take care of. You know they can grow in shade. You know this is one of the plants that can grow in shade and not get leggy, and know. and or sun if you put enough irrigation on it. Here's another one again upright. This is uh, one of my favorites, Stephanie Golden, very, very, very early. So it's going to start blooming, you know, as soon as it starts getting cold. Cold at coolness at night is what triggers them, triggers them to bloom. The other group of camellias that we have are japonica. You know, they're basically, you know, the tea is made from camellias, you know. I so, no idea. yeah, so you can actually grow that in our, in our climate zone. But, uh, Here's Camellia japonica, but this is a really unique looking Camellia. Mm -hmm. This is called the corkscrew Camellia, but it's a great for an espalier. You notice how it's twisted and growing in that shape, but you can put that right up against the wall. It's gonna be a beautiful flower. These, the japonicas, are your late bloomers. The flowers are quite a bit bigger mm -hmm. compared to the this one here, the Sasanqua. You know, you're gonna have, I mean, that flower right there rivals a rose flower. And best way to display them is put them in a small uh, dish of water and then set them right in there. And if you're looking for any of these camellias, they have them at Ace Harbor, they have a great selection right now. Mm -hmm. Some of the growing things you wanna make sure camellias are well mulched. You know, mulching them around there, use them some pine, uh, pine straw or some cypress mulch because, you know, they like to be evenly moist and uh, well taken care of. You know, what I use on the fertilizer is going to be organic fertilizer. You know, you can use this garden manure or, of course, you know, my, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Natural manure. Right, yeah, and it's a fish slow emulsion? fish emulsion, okay. slow release. Some of the problems, we got one, one more second here. Absolutely. Was, was, some of the problems you can have is this. Uh, on the on the bottom of the leaf, you're gonna notice it's called it's gonna be scale, okay, T scale oh, actually, okay. and that's gonna be the things that are gonna cause them to lose the leaves early. A little bit of systemic drench on their merit uh, will be very effective in one time a year, one time that's a year, here. and you're good for the rest of the year. Okay. All right, we got one other thing you can, you can look at on a camellia leaf is when it, it you can barely see it, but it's bronzy, mm -hmm. bronzy like that. And when you see that, that's going to be spider mites. And you, they're very small, small insects. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you got to get a piece of paper. I'm going to borrow one of your things right okay. here. <laughs> but, uh, and just, if you suspect it, you just tap on the paper like that, and mm -hmm. you'll see little red insects. Okay. Again, on that one, you want to use melathion. You know, some of the th people uh, don't want to do but one application, but that's going to need seven, uh, uh, every seven to ten days. Every seven to ten days. And Three applications. Okay. Three applications. But camellias are great for any, any garden. Mm -hmm. A little bit of fertilizer and they can they'll live for years and they're okay. beautiful plants thank you so much larry for right. more information on gardening to camellias or if you'd like larry to do your landscape log on to larrysgarden.com you can always give him a call at larry's garden design and installation 346-1970 and remember you can hear larry on the radio every saturday morning at 8 on wokv it's am 690 and 106.5 fm